Hallelujah, friends. I'm again glad to be here. And it's the Wednesday, the 25th day of August. Gradually, gradually. Today we will we'll be rounding up on the series of Beware. And today we want to just express, make some expressions and then close on it. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. And thank you very dearly, very much. Thank you indeed for who you are. And thank you because of your consciousness of loving man. Bible says you so love us that you gave yourself. Thank you so much for your sacrifice. Today again, please bless this day for us. And please speak to us. And let all this be faith in our hearts. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. So friends, still our test is Matthew 12, 34 to 37. And today, I just want to mention three, four scriptures. Then mention something on them, then we'll close it. In John chapter 4, reading from verse 10, Jesus looked at the woman at the well and said, hmm. She asked the woman for water. And the woman said, You Jew, are you asking me? Samaritan for water. And Jesus looked at her. If you know who is asking you for water, you would have given me water. Or oh, but you would have prepared to ask me to give you the water. I have water that if I give you to drink, you will never be tested. He said, Ah, oh God. What am I doing? I will not need to come to the well again. Give me that water. But what I want to bring out here is that most times we meet people that are the finality of all our struggle, finality of our pain. And most times they don't appear to be like that. That's what I just said to her. If we know who. And when Jesus began to reveal who he is to her, she was elated. And she went telling everybody, I've seen the Messiah. Friends, the same thing, the same process happened in the life of Naaman. Naaman had been wonderful, wonderful, everything, until that girl told the wife, my boss can be healed. Sometimes some of us will have taken a situation as a permanent situation and say, maybe that's the will of God for our life. Then God will introduce us to relationship, to, to places, to things, and we don't get the whole gist of it, and we let it go. If you look at the story, in 2 Kings chapter 5, from verse 2 to 5, you see the lady introducing Naaman to the healing uh, prophet. And then the, he thought it was an official thing. We think every package was a package in the manner. Of. He went to his king, got a letter, went to the other king. And he said, how can you be looking for trouble with me? I can't. But the man that was going to do the job, when he heard about it, he said, oh, just bring him to me. Do you know that when he got to the man and he told the, the man said, tell him to go and wash in the river Jordan, he brought in the same thing. No matter what, we are too, we, we, we are too logical, we are too stiff that we expect things to go in a particular way. No, not all the time. In fact, you won't believe that glass is produced from sand. A lot of people don't know. <laughs> so, there are many pro products that when you, you tell, you heard about what is the material, you'll be struck. I said, is that true? It is so. So, the guy, when he was told to go and take a bath, he got angry. He said, I thought he would use his hand. I thought he would do this. But at the end of the day, thank God that he is a man that has people around him. And, one of his, and he gave his servant privilege to talk to him. If he was a tyrant, he would die in a, a, leprous, a leper. But thank God that he wasn't the time and he told the guy, hey, and the guy said, sir, if you are told you to do something difficult, you will do it. And he got his healing. Friends, what am I saying? Hebrew 13, 1 and 2 says, be careful that entertaining strangers, some people have entertained angels. They have entertained people that brought solution to their life. Value everything. Don't let your tradition, your orientation, your custom, in that your testimony. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.